All right, I want to make a video about disasters and energy efficiency because when it comes to wars, the team that wins is the team that uses more energy more efficiently. It's just that simple. Winning a war is basic math. Now, I have a lot of upgraded disasters, but I want to talk about the base level, level one disasters. So here we go. Let's look at shrink ray. When I'm talking about disasters, I'm going to say an average disaster because I don't care about the rating, whether it's common or rare or legendary. I don't care about the rating of a disaster. To me, a disaster is either average or it's below average or above average. Shrink ray is average. When you're looking at a disaster, any disaster, there are four things you have to take into account. The damage that it does. Now, this is the maximum number of residences that it can destroy okay your war points are equal at level one to 100 times the maximum damage that disaster can do so at level one three damage three buildings maximum can be destroyed and the war points are 300 now this is upgraded so my war points which is equal to score your war points are your score have gone up to 400. It goes approximately 10% increase every time you level up. Then you have your energy cost and your launching requirements. The energy cost, pretty simple, that's what you need to use energy-wise in order to launch that disaster. And the launching requirements are the items, the war items that are needed in order to launch that disaster. Now when I say an average disaster, there's a baseline. What does a disaster need to make it average. Well, one for one, the energy cost should be equal to the damage, and one for one, the launching requirements should be equal to the damage. So shrink ray does a maximum of three. The energy cost should be three. It is. That's average. Launching requirements. It should require three items because it does three damage. It does. That's average. So even though shrink ray is listed as a rare disaster, it's only average when you're coming from a scoring point of view or an energy efficiency point of view. So that's shrink ray. Let's come over here and look at a legendary disaster, which is below average and it actually sucks. Not in Kansas does three damage. So you get at level one, 300 points, but the energy cost is four. That's higher than the average disaster should be and that's bad launching requirements are less than average and that's good but what wins a war is the energy efficiency so let's look at not in kansas from an energy point of view if you cast not in kansas on a full energy bar that's 12 energy if you're in the desert of destruction you can cast it three times four energy three times 12 you can do three attacks with not in Kansas it gives you 300 points each time that's 900 points so think about that full energy bar not in Kansas 900 points now let's come over here and look at magnetism magnetism is the opposite of not in Kansas because the energy cost is less but the launching requirements items required is more so damage wise it does three it's going to give you 300 war points that's going to be your score and the energy is only two to cast it however the items needed launching requirements are five which sucks which is why it's listed as a common disaster but the energy is what matters so let's look at it from the energy point of view on a full energy bar you can cast magnetism six times and six times 300 is 1800 so you're in a war and let's say you're using not in kansas every time you have a full energy bar you're getting 900 points but the opponent is using magnetism and every time they have a full energy bar they're getting 1800 points they are doubling your score 
Now I know magnetism is really hard to use because of the item requirements. So for most players, it's difficult to consistently use magnetism. But score-wise, at level 1, magnetism is the best, the highest scoring disaster in the game. Energy efficiency-wise, you cannot do better than magnetism. You have to bear in mind when you're using a disaster, and only you know what you have. You may not have upgraded disasters. You may not even have all the disasters. Only you know what you have. Only you know what items you have. But keep in mind, energy is only available at the rate it regenerates. You can put a battle booster on. You can make your regeneration a little bit faster for an hour. But no matter how you do it, you still have to wait. You can go to the war store and buy war items. You can go to club chat and say, hey, does anybody have a war item that I need? And you can buy a war item from your club mates. There is no way to do that with energy. You have to wait for it to regenerate. So using your energy in the most efficient way possible is what wins wars get the most score. Like I said, only you know what disasters you have. Only you know what items you have to be able to cast the disasters that you have. So you have to make your best judgment call. But do bear in mind, if you're talking about score, if you want to win, using the most efficient disaster energy-wise is where it's at. Thanks for watching.